Thanks, sweetheart. Thank you for making today the happiest day of my life. Gary, I'm talking to you. Why are you pushing my hand? Gary. Gary, I'm talking to you. Gary, what's the problem? Did, did I do something wrong? Why are you sleeping in the sitting room? Woman, I left the room so I could have some peace. And you still came out here to disturb me. No, Gary. This is a night of our wedding. A night that starts a new chapter in our lives. And you expect me to leave you? No, Gary. I... Gary, I'm talking to you. When you are ready, you will go inside and sleep. See the best of it. Did you just call me prostitute? Gary! Susan, why are you dressed like this? It's too early for you to dress like this in marriage. You need to dress to entice your husband and make him think about you every day. Spice this marriage up. Look at me even after two kids. What's going on? Rachel, how are you and how are your kids? We are fine. Good. How is Gary? Gary, he's fine. He's doing well. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. What's going on? Hi, Rachel. Hi, Gary. Rachel. Gary has never called me any pet name since we got married. He greeted me because we are here. We literally don't talk to each other in this house. Rachel, we are like strangers. I don't understand what's going on. What have you done to him? Can I talk to him? Rachel, I've, I've done nothing wrong. I, I don't know. Okay, fine. Even if I've done something wrong, you should walk up to me and tell me. Can I talk to him, please? Rachel, you know what? I'll sort things out. You don't need to stress yourself. You don't need to worry about it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, if you say so, I need to be on my way now. Why, Rachel? Is it because of what I said? No, I need to make dinner for my family. Oh, it's fine. I, I understand. Alright, take, care of, take care of yourself. Thanks okay. for coming. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Susan, so it has gotten to the point where you tell your friends about our marriage, right? <laughs> Gary, no, what would you have me do? Look at you, you're just coming back from me hanging with your friends. I, I practically don't leave the house. I don't even have the motivation to. And you're here talking about a friend that noticed that wasn't okay. What else do you want me to do, Gary? Well, I don't care. Oh, uh -huh. you can do what you want. It's not as if you've not even been doing what you want. That's what prostitutes like you do. Did you just call me that? <laughs> Gary! Baby, welcome. Let me get you your food. Did you bring something for me? <laughs> Gary, where did you get this food from? Gary, what did I do to you? Why are you treating me like this? If you don't have done something to you, why can't you just come out straight and tell me? You don't eat my food. We don't even sleep together as husband and wife. Why, why, why do you keep treating me like this, Gary? I'm just trying to eat my food in peace. But that's not my food. Why are you eating someone's food? Do you want me to choke? Do you want to kill me? No. Gary, just tell me what I did wrong. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Gary, I'm talking to you.
Don't cross this line. Clara, I don't understand. What are you trying to do? Why are you demarcating the bed? <sighs> You're joking, right? I understand. Do you not listen? The only reason why I'm staying in the room is so I can have a sound sleep. Please, please, let me sleep. Please, don't cross this line. Gary, is that why you're demarcating? Please. Why are you demarcating the bed? So I can't touch you again. Hey, what's the meaning of all this? Listen, I don't know what I've done wrong. Gary has been treating me badly. He treats me like trash. Just calm down and talk to me. What's the problem? Basin, ever since we got married, I've never enjoyed this relationship. Gary doesn't eat my food. We don't even sleep as husband and wife. And to crown it all, he insults me. He calls me prostitute at every slightest opportunity he gets. Oh but just imagine calling me a prostitute. Gary. Yes. Are you sure about the allegations you just labeled against him? Bensi, what's my gain lying against my husband? No, tell me. What's my gain? Okay. I will talk to him. Okay. But I just want to know if maybe there is something you did knowingly or knowingly that made him start acting this way. Benson, I've done nothing wrong. And even if I've done something, he can just walk up to me and tell me what I've done. Then I have made my ways. Then he treated me like trash. Benson, I am frustrated. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm fed up already. Okay. Um... I'll talk to him, but I need you to calm down. Stop crying, okay? Honestly, I'm tired. I'm fed up. No, 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 no. You don't uh, need to be. It, it, it is what comes with marriage. I mean, you. You still have to end you, okay? I'll talk to him. You'll be fine. It's all right. No problem. Right. You called me here. I hope you still talk about business, Gary. I must say, I'm very disappointed in you. What did I do? Gary, what did Susan do to you? I mean, what did she do to deserve all of this? You don't talk to her at home. You don't sleep together with her. You don't eat her food. To cap everything up. You even called your wife a prostitute. So... This meeting was because that prostitute has been reporting me to you. So it's true. So everything she said is true, Gary. Well, I can see that Susan is trying to embarrass me in front of my friends by reporting me to everybody in the area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite you. I'm going to invite her friend so she can make a fool of herself in front of you guys as I provide evidence for the rubbish he has done. I mean, uh, Gary. Well, I've gathered all of you here. It seems Susan is happy to tell our marriage tales to everybody in the world. So I decided to bring all of us here so that she can make a fool of herself. Now you're wondering why we've been having issues in our marriage. Would you believe me if I told you that my wife-to-be, the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh, who made a vow to me on the altar on the 17th of last month, just two weeks before our wedding, had a contraceptive in her bag? Babe, your phone is ringing. All right, can you help me with it? I'm in the kitchen. I'm doing something.
Gary, I, I don't understand what you just said. Contraceptive? Me? Don't try to cover it up. I saw it with my eyes. I can't forget that day. The 17th. A contraceptive. I'm wondering what she wants to use it for. Does she want to stop pregnancy with me? Or does she want to stop pregnancy for another man? <laughs> Come on. I'd like to see you wiggle your way out of it. You've been playing the victim all this while. Come on. Gary, what I want to understand is, why didn't you tell me before proceeding with the marriage, after you discovered this? I didn't want to disgrace her and myself. And that's why I kept it to myself and just married her even though I didn't want to. Susan, what were you doing with contraceptives? I mean, I expected more from you. <laughs> Rachel. What's funny? Can you remember the days talking about? Yes, seven things. I sent you contraceptive to get for me, right? I have the chat. Bring out your phone. That's true. So my contraceptive caused all of this. Your, your contraceptive? I told her to get it for me. Because I don't want to have another baby. Rachel, can you, can you just imagine? You've been matching me, treating me like trash because of the contraceptive you saw in my bag. Gary, did you talk to me about it? No, you decided to keep it to yourself. And you even went ahead with the marriage. Now you've been matching me. Gary! I'm, so, I'm sorry. G Gary, I'm, why didn't you discuss it with your wife? You are married. I, I, I played so many scenarios in my head. I, I asked the questions and I answered it in my head. The thought of her with another man just it sent me to a frenzy. I, I, I didn't know how to ask her. I didn't think I would believe her. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I, did, I couldn't even think that the contraceptive would be for anyone else. I'm, I'm sorry. Gary, to, to crown it all, you called me a prostitute. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. You're a wicked man. My friend doesn't deserve you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, Susan, I'm sorry. Gary, thank you for everything. I mean, everything. And you're definitely here for my lawyer. Susan. It doesn't go into this. I would um, I'll talk to him. I will scold him. Alright. Just just forgive him, please. Benson, I am done with this marriage for all I care. Because for Gary to have kept this to himself, if I did something that is more than this, it would definitely harm me. I don't think I'm saving this marriage. Like I said earlier, Gary, I am done with this marriage. Don't don't look at me. There is nothing I can do about this. You're not a good man. You don't deserve my good friend. You, you, you brought this to yourself. There is nothing I can do. You just have to beg your wife. Please forgive me. I should forgive you, Gary. If it was you, will you forgive me? No, ask yourself that same question. Will you forgive me? Please, you're you called this meeting for, for you to ridicule me. Now, just look at everything. Like I said, I am done with this marriage and there's no going back with my words. I'm sorry, I'm Susan. Don't touch me. Don't dare touch me. Susan. Like I said earlier, I am done with this marriage. I'm sorry, Excuse I'm me. sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Get out! Benson, Benson, she's leaving. Benson. There is, there is nothing I can do. I mean, you brought this upon yourself. <laughs> Gary, I, 